Welcome to vSkills, YouTube channel. In this video, you will learn about the top interview questions for HR analytics. So, let's get started. Question number one, what do you understand by the term HR analytics? The answer is, human resource analytics is described as the region in the range of analytics that administers people analysis and appeals the analytical methods to the human capital inside the industry to improve employee achievement and increase employee retention. Question number two, what is HR analytics used for? The answer is, HR analytics is a process applied to design and value insights into the workforce, to define the augmentation of each employee towards creating revenue for the foundation, degrading overall costs, mitigating risks, as well as accomplishing necessary plans. Question number three, what does data management mean? The answer is, data management is the method of keeping, collecting, and using data efficiently, securely, and cost-effectively. Effecting digital data in a corporation includes a comprehensive range of policies, tasks, procedures, and practices. Question number four, what are the different types of data management? The answer is, some of the data management systems are. First, CRM or Customer Relationship Management System. Second, Marketing Technology Systems. Third, Analytics Tools. Fourth, data warehouse systems. Question number five, what is a dashboard in human resources? The answer is, an HR dashboard is a marketing intelligence device that provides human resource teams to follow, analyze and summarize HR KPIs. With this approach, HR teams can instantly find penetrations that will enhance recruiting, optimize workplace administration and improve employee performance. Question number six, can Excel be utilized for the data analysis? The answer is, Excel is a device for data analytics and not ever a consummate solution. We should use distinctive functions to search the data for more salutary insights. Question number seven, what are decision models in business analytics? The answer is, decision models are visual representations of a method that show how data and information are joined together to compose a particular business decision. The model is correlated to business methods, resources, business rules, and performance propositions in the organizations. Question number eight, what are the different types of decision models? The answer is, the four types of decision-making principles are, bounded rationality, rational, intuitive, and creative, which vary in terms of how encountered or provoked a decision-maker is to make a selection. Question number nine, how do you perform data analysis on a spreadsheet? The answer is, we can accomplish this by clearly marking the cells that we require to investigate. So for instance, let's go with the first 10 products. We will consider the quantity column. And next, in the right center corner, we can recognize a function that has instantly summed up all the utilities that we had in our area of the cells. Question number 10, what is an HR report? The answer is, an HR report is an analytic process used to show human resources related insights, stats, and metrics with the principal goal of promoting workforce representation, recruiting methods, and other related HR methods with the assistant of HR dashboards. Question number 11, how do you visualize data? The answer is, some of the useful ways to visualize your data are, indicator, line chart, bar chart, pie chart, area chart, pivot table, and scatter chart. Question number 12, what is an Excel data model? The answer is, the data model in Excel is a variety of data tables where two or more than two tables are in a connection with each other by a common or more major data series. In data model tables and data from several other sheets or references come collectively to make a bizarre table which can have access to the data from all the tables. Question number 13, what are the seven levels of decision making? The answer is, the seven levels of decision making are, firstly, recognize the decision. Then, collect relevant information. Next, know the alternatives. After that, measure the evidence. Then, pick among the alternatives. And practice action. Lastly, review your decision. Question number 14, why are spreadsheet models helpful? The answer is, companies practice spreadsheets to create and manage data sets make graphical visualizations, and acquaint future planning, and determination making. With spreadsheet programs such as Microsoft Excel and options from LibreOffice and Google Docs, institutions of any size can put spreadsheets to immeasurable use. 
Question number 15. Why is it hard to manage data? The answer is. The main problem associated with managing the data is data storage. Due to quickly improving the huge amounts of data, it has grown complex to save the data correctly, and also retrieval has become challenging because of the large amount of data. Question number 16. What do you understand by RStudio? The answer is. RStudio is an open source and free integrated development environment, IDE, for R. It is a programming language for statistical graphics and computing. Question number 17, is Excel suitable for data visualization? The answer is. When examining data and building charts or diagrams, 62% of characters report utilizing Excel because of its versatility and comfort of use. The ease and adaptability of Excel often make it a first stop for making data visualizations. Question number 18. What is the use of Query in Excel? The answer is. Using Microsoft Query, you can connect to external data sources, select data from those external sources, import that data into your worksheet, and refresh the data as needed to keep your worksheet data synchronized with the data in the external sources. Question number 19. What are the various probability distributions? The answer is. There are many various kinds of probability distributions. Some of them incorporate the normal distribution, binomial distribution, chi-square distribution, and Poisson distribution. Question number 20. How can you measure your success rate as an HR analyst? The answer is. Indeed there are several ways to assess the performance. It is expected that you set big challenges for yourself and thereby meet them. Indeed your achievement is a big success. Sample answer. I am very sure that I will be successful as an HR analyst. I have always thought to work with your organization and I would do anything to make my dream become true. I am interested in this job, for my passion not for money. Question number 21. What are the challenges under proper human resource management? The answer is. Some of the challenges associates are. First. Employees often have conflicts among them that need to be addressed through an effective mechanism. Otherwise, they can affect their efficiency. Second, the non-availability of skills can be another challenge. Third, the lack of knowledge of the employees assigned a specific duty is another fact. Question number 22. What steps have you taken to improve your knowledge which is related to the HR analyst position? The answer is. It is suggested to include improvements and activities that are taken to improve the job profile. You are expected to make notes of some good ones in handy to mention in these circumstances. Remember, employers tend to look for goal-oriented applicants. You are required to show a desire for continuous learning by listing your non-work-related hobbies. Irrespective of the activities you choose to present, remember that the goal is to prove self-sufficiency, time management, and motivation. Question number 23. What do you understand by predictive analytics? The answer is. Predictive analytics is one of the most popular parts of HR analytics, such that by using the right data, an HR analyst can predict who will leave the company, make a salary estimation for new functions, just by looking at the job description, and predict the performance of new hires. Question number 24. What are the roles and responsibilities of an HR analyst? The answer is. HR analysts are responsible for identifying and assisting in solving HR-related issues, ensuring these adhere to the organization's policies and objectives, analyzing and evaluating data and reports, feeding back the findings to relevant managers and advising on changes and improvements are all part of the role. Question number 25. What are some of the methods used for the performance appraisal in an HRMS system? The answer is, Primarily three important methods are used in an HRMS depending on the source of the feedback. Firstly, 90-degree appraisals, the source of the feedback of the employees is supervisor or the manager. Then, 180-degree appraisal, the source of the feedback is nothing but the peers. Lastly, 306-degree appraisal, the source of feedback are multiple such as managers, peers, supervisors and so on. Question number 26. What do you understand by people group in human resource management systems? The answer is. People group is an area where the users can clearly define the assignment data. Also, it is possible to utilize this data for grouping the sets that matter a lot to the user. Therefore it comes to defining the eligibility of the elements, it is possible for the users to simply use them. Question number 27. What is the need to process the human resource processes? The answer is. This largely depends on the organization. 
It can be based on the size of an organization and the overall number of tasks performed. Also there can be a very large number of processes that an organization has to deal with. Also, processes are often combined on a daily basis whereas, with a few, they are combined after a specific time gap. Question number 28. What is an effective sequence HRMS and how is it considered useful for the organizations? The answer is. This is primarily an approach considered as best since it is important to ensure that the large sections of data dealing with the transactions of the employees can be handled reliably. Nearly all the transactions are actions driven and it is very common that employees made similar transactions multiple times during a specific period. Therefore whenever such a situation arrives all the other transactions then the first need prompt attention. Now, this can be achieved through the job table which is prepared through effectively sequencing the information. Question number 29. In an HRMS system, differentiate between a prompt table and a translate table? The answer is. In an HRMS system, both tables are different from one another. Some of the points of difference are. The strict upper limit on the translate table for the characters is a maximum of 4. On the other hand, there is no such limit on the prompt table. The overall number of entries that can be accommodated in a translate table is 30 but the prompt table can have any number of entries available in at any time. Question number 30. What is the difference between higher date and the last higher date? The answer is. The higher date is the date when a person is hired in an organization. It is also referred to as the date of joining an organization for an employee. On the other hand, the last higher date is the date when an organization leaves the job or is terminated from his or her services. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.